Neil Channing, folks, for those that don't know him, is a British punter. Uh, some would say legendary, some would say not. I like him, I like him a lot. He was on Look on Sunday earlier today. I don't know if anybody watched it, I don't know if anybody bothers. It's a programme I love, I like it a lot. Every time Neil's on there, you get a good VFM, I think he's great. Anyway, in the talking points today, they mentioned the Cheltenham Festival, and they mentioned the crowds, and they mentioned various things that happened at the festival, things that were unsavoury. They mentioned in the car parks, and the fact that cars couldn't get out of the car park. I think you were paying £20 a day for parking. The first day or so, the weather was that bad, you couldn't get your car out. You were being towed out by a tractor, but you had to pay another 30 quid for the privilege, which is, when you're paying through the nose for everything, now that is ridiculous. People were up in arms about that, and rightly so. But they were also talking about the crowd, and they were saying the crowd was really, really bad in some parts. And I believe a lot of it is being linked to drugs. They said there's a hell of a lot more drugs in and around the course now than there's ever been before. And he was telling a story about a couple of girls he um, overheard talking on a train journey a week previous, he said. And they're talking about a party they've been to, and they're on about they took this drug and that drug, and this was available and that was available. And he said, I'm thinking, lots of people on the train can hear, and they're just talking about drugs like it's an everyday thing. He said, but it seems to be. It seems to be more and more and more people on drugs. It's crazy, he said. But going back to Cheltenham, he said, I have had a couple of friends there and they said they did see some really bad instances. I think one was mentioned where a guy knocked somebody accidentally and spilled some of a pint over another fella and the fellow that got the pint spilled over him actually headbutted the guy that spilled it, uh, which is a bit naughty. Um, and another couple of bits and pieces. But he was saying, he said, my friends go in the Guinness village and they say it's brilliant, it's fantastic before racing starts and the first couple of races, it's great, the atmosphere is great, everyone's really friendly. And then at about three o'clock, it changes from Bertie Worcester to Peaky Blinders. He said that everyone's falling out with everyone and everyone's battling. There's little pockets here then everywhere where trouble's kicking off. He says it's absolutely crazy. And, and it is, I mean, I've been to Haydock all 18 months ago now, folks, and there was a big fight in the car park, and I mean a big fight, between one coach load and lots of other punters. It was just horrendous, and I mean, horrendous I've seen some things there that I never thought I'd see on and around away a race course there's a guy there with one of these metal walking sticks smashing somebody over the head time and time and time again and that was the worst thing there there was other things as well and you're thinking what on earth is going on in this country and anyway they're saying a lot of it they believe is down to drugs rather than drink although obviously in the Guinness tent there's plenty of the old black stuff as well there um, and people just can't keep they answer themselves, can they? You know, they get drunk or they get high on whatever else and they've got to show how hard and how manly they are, unfortunately. But yeah, I thought it was funny that I did have a bit of a chuckle to that. Even the wife overheard that. Booty Worcester to Peaky Blinders. She liked that line, I think. She likes Neil just like me. She's got to like him because of me. I think he's great. There he was again in his black Beatles t-shirt. He gets some mileage out of that, I'll tell you. But I like him. I like him a lot. I thought it was funny. I thought I would air it with you.